Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Can Grow and Can Shrink properties in your Microsoft Access reports. We'll build a simple customer report, and if there are notes for that customer, then we'll show them. If there aren't notes, we'll hide them and then shrink up that extra space so you don't waste space for each of your records. Today's question comes from Corinne from Rome, Italy, one of my Platinum members. Corinne says, I have a simple customer report. I want to see first name, last name, and notes. If there are notes, I want them to all display. That works fine. If there are no notes, I want the report to resize so there isn't as much waste in space. How can I do this? Well, Corinne, in order to do this, we have to learn something called the Can Grow and Can Shrink properties which are part of Microsoft Access Reports and Fields. Can grow and can shrink gets or sets whether the specified control automatically adjusts vertically to print or preview all of the data that the control contains. Let me show you how to set that up. Here we have my Tech Help free template. This is a free download from my website. You can go grab a copy if you want to. I'll put a link down below. In here, I got your basic customer table, right? Open that up. There's first name, last name. There's some notes over here. There's the notes field. If you look at the customer form, all right, there it is. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's put some more stuff in here, right? Super cool guy, Star Trek nerd. And I'm just going to copy and paste this, right? Copy, paste, 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 paste. There's a whole bunch of stuff in the notes field for me, okay? So close that. Let's create a quick customer report. So I'll click on customer T, create, report design. I work from scratch. I don't like using the wizards, to be honest with you. The only wizard I really like is the label wizard because it formats it all for you. But as far as regular stuff goes, I prefer working from design view. All right, so double click here to bring up the report properties. Go to all, change the record source to customer T. That's the table that we're binding the report to. That's where it's going to get its data from. Now that we've done that, I can go to Add Existing Fields and pick the fields I want in this report. Let's just do first name. I'm going to hold down Control, click on last name, and also Notes. That's all we want in this report. Hold down the Control key to pick specific fields out of here. Click, drag, drop right there. Okay? And then I'll just move these guys up and to the left a little bit. All right, so let's grab the bottom of the detail section, drag it up, get rid of all this empty, wasted space in here. Okay, just like that. All right, looks good. Let's save this as my customer report. Customer R, I'll hit OK. All right, we'll close that, and let's take a look at it. Right-click, Print Preview. All right, there it is. Now you can see right here, this box with all those notes in it, right? That got nice and big. The Can Grow property is on. All right, that's the default. Can Grow is on. Same thing for the section that it's in. All right, scroll down a little bit. You can see that one takes up one line for kicks butt, right? Now, right here, the notes section in this one, there's no notes. That field is even, isn't even there. You can't even see the outline, all right, which normally I turn these outlines off, but I'm leaving them on for this video to show you where the stuff is, okay? But notes is sitting right there. Why is that? Well, I'll show you in a second. Let's go into design view, okay? Let's take a look at the, let's turn this guy off. Let's take a look at the properties for this text box. Okay, go over to Format, and this actually works better if you sort this A to Z so you can see them in order. Let's find Can Grow and Can Shrink right there. Yes and yes. Okay, so by default, text boxes can, be, can get as large as they need to be or as small as they need to be. If there is no data, they'll shrink right up. The problem is this guy is a label, and labels do not even have a can grow or can shrink property. So if there's anything horizontally on the same line as that text box, it's going to prevent this space from shrinking. All right, makes sense? So you can't have a label there. So delete that label, which is probably okay anyways. Most of the time you don't got to you don't got to show off that that's notes, all right? People will get it. All right, so that's the first thing you have to do. Let's see what we got now. Let's save this and let's go into print preview mode again. Okay, looks good, but there's still that wasted space there. What's going on? Let's go back into design view. Okay, in addition to the fields themselves, the section also has a can grow and can shrink property. By default, can shrink is set to no. So you have to come in here and set that to yes. Got to remember that. All right, I've been asked this question a billion times since I started teaching access. 
Okay, you have to get rid of any labels and you have to set can shrink for the section equal to yes. Now if I save it and go to print preview, there we go. Now you can see that extra space is now gone. So hopefully that should answer your question, Corinne. You have to basically have no labels or other fields horizontally with that notes field. And you have to make sure that can shrink is turned on for the detail section. Want to learn more about can grow and can shrink? What if you want to leave that notes label there? All right, I'll show you how to hide it. What if you have images in your reports? I'll show you how to hide those too and shrink up that extra space if there's no image. I cover this in the extended cut for members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. And I also cover a lot more with can grow and can shrink in my access beginner level nine class. Covers can grow, can shrink, page headers, page footers, concatenation, all right, explicit query parameters, all kinds of different stuff. That's, that's access beginner level nine. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free access beginner level one course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from accesslearningzone.com.